Hey everybody, this is Dana with Hippie Escapades and we're about to leave on our hike in about 10 days and I thought I would go over with you what we're taking in food and also show you what we're carrying in our pack. But for right now I'm going to start with the food. So here we have what I'm going to have for breakfast and basically it's just a bunch of mashed potatoes and these are equivalent to ramen but they're gluten free so we'll be, I'll be eating those for breakfast and then over here we have dinners and this is going to be a potato soup all you have to do is add hot water to it and then I have one of the backpackers pantry Louisiana red beans and rice meals and then these are some meals that I made and dehydrated myself and it's stew and chili and so we have that and here in the middle is all the snacks that we'll eat on like during the day while we're actually hiking and we just have some trail mix here that Lisa made up and different bars of all different kinds these here are really good we found these at uh, uh, sprouts really tasty and gluten-free and one thing about your food and hiking is that you have to try to get a lot of calories in uh, small portions so these little uh, cookies are this is the bag for the chocolate ones but they are a hundred calories per little cookie and so you can get quite a bit of energy just out of those little cookies there and then we have some crackers because we're also going to take some pepperoni and cheese for a couple days because it'll hold up because the temperature is cooler up there and then of course Snickers got to have your chocolate and these are the propel little drink things to give us some little extra electrolytes in our water and then these are different little peanut butter and this one's hazelnut butter but basically peanut butter almond butters are all different flavors but those have a lot of oomph in their little package and then there is hot chocolate and then Lisa picked up this beef jerky when she was in Vegas a couple weeks ago so I don't know if it's any good or not but we'll find out so this is pretty much the spread that we're taking and it all to fit in that little black barrel right there. So before we get started packing, I wanted to point out that I did repackage a few things. Um, the potato soup, I repackaged because these particular bags um, had a lot of air in the bag, so by repacking them into Ziploc, I can get the air out. Plus, the Ziploc bags will be great to use for trash throughout the trip. And I forgot the all-important zeal, which those of you who know me know that this is what I call liquid crack. I take two of these a day, um, so that's enough for two a day for seven days. So that should have me plenty of stock on that. So now I'm going to try to strategically get all this stuff into the bear barrel. So have fun watching that. So now we're going to talk about the gear that we're taking. We're going to start with the bag. 
and that right there is the bag that I'm taking. It's a mountain top 65 liter backpacking bag. And then over here, this is our water bladder. And I've weighed everything, and as you can see with water in it, it weighs seven pounds. Not fun, but you gotta have water. This is an odds and ends bag of emergency things and just some odds and ends, and it weighs 1.3 pounds. I have my trekking poles in there, and they weigh 1.5 pounds. This little bag here is our footprint and the poles for the tent, and it weighs 1.9 pounds. Lisa will be carrying the actual rest of the tent. And this here is my coat. It's a down coat. I don't remember what temperature it's rated at, but it's really light. As you can see, it's only half a pound, and it's surprising how small that that will press down to. And then back here, I have the X-Dragon, and that is a solar panel so that I can keep everything charged and be able to record video and all that of our hike. This pile is my uh, hat. It has mosquito net in it, and this is my rain gear suit. And these three items together weigh 14.9 ounces. This is the sleeping pad that we'll sleep on. You have to blow it up, but it gets like four inches thick, and I don't remember what the R rating is on it, but it'll work. And this little guy is the Aegis Max sleeping bag. As you can see, he is little. He weighs 1.2 pounds and is rated at 30 degrees. So we'll see and hopefully that will keep me nice and warm and it's very small and very lightweight. This is our water filtration system. It weighs 13 ounces. This is my bag of clothes, which is 3.25 pounds. I didn't weigh these just because they're only going in my pack for the two days that we're going to stay in Silverton. That is the liquid crack. Must have the liquid crack. And then, as I showed before, this is that pile of snacks that is for the first day. So those will be gone on the first day. This is just my little cup that I'll be eating out of. And of course, the bear barrel, which weighs 12 pounds has all the food. This is a um, cooling rag. It's dry right now, so it only weighs 2.6 ounces, so that will be heavier if I do have to get it wet and use it to stay cool. And the nice handy dandy shovel. We all know what this is for. Gotta have it, you have to dig holes. It's 3.3 ounces. Lisa will be carrying the rest of the bathroom accessories, I get the shovel. And this here is my cook pot. I don't know if you can see in there very well. And my spoon it comes in this nice little handy case. And it weighs one pound. But that's enough to boil probably about four cups of water so that we can hydrate all of the meals and eat. So I am taking one luxury item. People are going to say that we're crazy. We're each carrying one of these. But at the end of the day, I'm going to be tired. So I have this little camping chair. There's a picture of what it looks like all set up. It's all nice and compact. And that's as big as it gets. And the whole package is 2.4 pounds. And I have used it and sat in it and I was comfortable. So that is what is important. So this is all the gear that we're taking and now the trick is to get it all in the pack. So you're gonna have fun watching that.
42 pounds. That's a little heavier than I really wanted. But the good news is, is each day it's going to get lighter and lighter with eating the food. And the food is the heaviest thing in the bag. So, 42 pounds it is. I do not know what Lisa's bag is currently weighing in at, but it's probably going to be very similar to the same weight. So stay tuned and see what happens next. Bye-bye.